Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about wasp stings and in particular how the wasps are having an absolute field day at the moment with our lovely weather that we've been having. And uh, The weather extends their lifespan, it he helps them to thrive and we even are ending up with super wasps. Um, so they are very happy little mites. Not only that, they have also been drinking our beer and uh, in particular our cider and they end up getting a bit squiffy and a squiffy wasp, wasp is far more likely to sting you. So um, we have had a big increase in people suffering from wasp stings and they're not pleasant. And it's forecast that the problem's going to get even worse because in the autumn the queens hibernate and the workers go out and they look for sugar and they find berries and rotting fruit and that makes them drunk and um, and then as I said before they're even more likely to sting so when a wasp is in distress they emit um, a distress pheromone which calls for backup and nests have between 5,000 and 10,000 wasps in them so uh, you really don't want to be surrounded by that much backup so the wasps are thriving um, last year was a bumper year for them, this year is even more of a bumper year and they are forecasting that the queens will absolutely adore this year and next year might be even worse. So keep an eye open, um, don't go out in the garden in bare feet because they just, they get a bit sleepy at this time of year and they might be nestling down in the grass and they will quite easily sting you in that. If you are worried or being worried by a wasp, don't flap or run or do that sort of thing, no matter how tempting it is, because they will chase you, it will alarm them and it will make them sting. Um, so protect your head and face, cover your arms and legs, and if you do need to get out of there quickly, go in a straight line without flapping your arms at all and literally just go quickly but without running. Um, in a straight line so don't zigzag around or they'll think it's some sort of a game and chase you. Seal food and drink and bins. Um, very careful with your drinks. Uh, every year we hear stories when somebody has actually drunk a wasp without realising it was in there and then it will end up stinging in your mouth which is even nastier. Um, they particularly like bright clothing, they like yellow and white, they can't see red um, like most inse insects but they like yellow and white so um, if you're wearing yellow and white, if you're an orange fan, unlucky. Um, and avoid strong smelling perfumes, hairspray and that side of things. They don't like mint. So if you want to avoid or prevent them from building a nest in your garden, then add a bit of extra mint in your borders um, and that might prevent them. Uh, if you are stung, they in inject the venom through their stinger. Um, the best thing to do is an ice pack antihistamine um, on the sting. If you are experiencing anything more than a local reaction and you've been prescribed an EpiPen or an adrenaline auto-injector, then take that quickly. Um, wasps are far more likely to cause a fatal allergic reaction than, than bees. Although saying that, the numbers of very serious, life-threatening um, uh, uh, reactions and deaths from wasp things still remain very small. I hope that's been helpful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com.